The 2012 campaign is starting to heat up. People are moving around the country on the Republican side. Uh, you just heard, and I, the guy's a marketing genius. I don't know what kind of a president he would be. Uh, but Donald Trump saying, you know, Donald Trump, Ron Kessler, who's a veteran journalist, he works for the conservative Newsmax. He says he's told by friends of Trump that Trump is definitely running now. Uh, and he'll announce it on the final episode of The Apprentice, which I could view as A, he's running, or B, he wants a lot of people to watch the final episode of The Apprentice. Eric Erickson, you're in touch with the conservative community. Uh, just how big is the groundswell for the Trump candidacy? Well, you know, now that he's talking foreign policy, it might grow. Who knew he would be talking foreign policy? I, I'm impressed. You, you know, the, the conservatives are, are really befuddled right now and that they don't have a candidate. And, and there are a lot of them who, who really want to woo Mike Pence, the congressman from Indiana, into the race. Uh, I've given voice to some of that angst on Red State. And, and uh, I think you're going to try to see a, a lot of people line up behind him. You know, Sarah Palin and Mitt Romney have it easy. They can raise money with a snap of a finger. They can sit it out. But... You know, Donald Trump, I guess we can put him in that category, too. The he only could. foreign policy he knows is the Miss Universe pageant. Can we just go ahead and be honest? Thank God <laughs> I wore good my policy. cowboy boots today because the BS that I'm standing in, forget the idea of Donald Trump running. He's not. This is a wonderful game we play every four years. But the idea of him being in the White House, if you thought Bill Clinton had a good time, let Donald Trump Go to the White House. All right, we're, we're going to put Roland down as a measured skeptic of on the Trump on the Trump on the Trump candidacy. Eric, I I'll want to take get Michelle Bach. I, I want to get well. That, thank you, thank you. That, that's my segue. I want to get to the Mike Pence conversation in a minute because this is a very very serious conversation in the conservative community. But Roland just mentioned Michelle Bachman. She's making some trips to those states, and her people are saying, "Well, she hasn't ruled it in, but she hasn't ruled it out." This is part of the ritual dance, if you will. Part of it's to get media attention, to have conversations like this. Eric Erickson, real or just a? Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure with Michelle Bachman, and, and that's one of the, the great things about Michelle Bachman is you never really know until she actually does it. Uh, I'm thinking that she probably does want to look. I, I, I'm struck by friends of hers who say that she feels like she did a lot of campaigning for a lot of Republicans around the country and was kind of left holding the bag with didn't get a leadership position out of it. She gave a lot of money to other candidates, and I think she wants something. I'm not sure it's the presidency, though. John, I, I can sort of help answer that question because she makes loony comments, okay? I'm sorry. They're not going to put you in a leadership position. The idea of her even trying to compete in a Republican primary is nuts. I guarantee you, you Republican leaders and major donors who are saying, Michelle Bachman, please sit down. That's the last thing we want you to do is to run near any presidential campaign. All right, we can, we can cross Roland off the Trump campaign and the, Bach, and the Bachman <laughs> just, campaign. I, I'm doing my math I, here. I, I'll listen right. to Thune. I'll listen to some other right. Republicans, right. not those two. All right, let, let, let's, <laughs> this, is, this, one, this one is a, a lot more serious at the moment because running for president requires a lot of money. And it's very hard for anybody to do, especially if you're coming at it from the House and you haven't held off the statewide. And Eric Erickson, I want to read something you wrote on uh, redstate.com about Mike Pence. He is a member. He was a member of the House Republican leadership. He resigned that position because he's thinking about running for president. He's also thinking about running for Indiana government. Governor. It's a tough decision to make. Here's what you wrote. The odds are surely against Congressman, but I think Mike Pence could do it. He bridges the gap between the establishment and the grassroots. He's in the comfort zone of both. He has a private sector background that shines in comparison to anything Barack Obama ever did before elected politics. He has the free market think tank background to reassure fiscal conservatives. He has the social conservative bona fides to reassure the social conservatives who this year feel marginalized. And so the question is, before, uh, what it sounds to me like yourself, some of your friends, before he makes the decision, you know what, that's a lot of money, Romney, Palin, that's hard, I could, I'm going to run for governor, which would be a quote-unquote safer course for right. Mike Pence to take. Are you trying to say, let's see how much money we can raise for him, let's come to him and say, here's a network, do it. You know, I, not myself, but I, I would be lying if I said I wasn't giving voice to a lot of people who are thinking that. And in behind the scenes, there are a lot of conservatives who are looking at the field and saying this, these are no ordinary times. The Republican habit of electing whoever is considered the heir apparent, whoever that might be, isn't going to fly this year to be competitive. We need to find someone new, someone fresh, uh, someone who can give an articulate message to conservatism. And a lot of them are saying Mike Pence. The fiscal guys are saying that. The social guys are saying that. The national defense guys are saying it. So now their job is to go out and try to show to Mike Pence that we can put together an organization and help you raise the money to be competitive against a Palin or a Romney. And if they can attract in Huckabee to try to steal some away from Palin, that might help too. This town loves conventional wisdom. Then Senator Barack Obama destroyed conventional wisdom by being elected from the Senate. So this notion that you can't be elected president from the House, I think, has gone out of the window. It makes sense, I believe, for him to make, to make the run for president. As Eric said, can, can you raise the money? Uh, because, again, coming from the state he's coming from, 
You're talking about Indiana. You're talking about how uh, then Senator Obama barely won that state. I don't think it's going to be in play in 2012. Uh, it is an attractive state when you also look at how the Electoral College uh, has changed. So I would say you make the effort to see how much can you raise in the midst of all the noise of Palin and others. If you can show you can raise a credible amount of money, that could also scare some other folks to say, this guy's serious. All right, there we go.